Fiery Alexander Rossi wins the day, if not the 2019 Indianapolis 500. Indianapolis U This was road rage at the Indianapolis 500. This was, Alexand this was Alexander Rossi screaming through the field of the 2019 Indianapolis 500 on Sunday, starting 8th but working his way to the leaders and staying there, and Rossi was in a fighting mood. Alas, this was not to be. Rossi won the day, it will be remembered for the icy cool of Simon Page Nod, and for the raging fire of Alexander Rossi, whose conversation during the yellow flag on lap 187 was broadcast to the world by NBC. With Rossi, Yank, I've got a bunch of angry cars behind me, Rossi told his crew. Little do they know I, Indy 500 results. 1, 2, 3A Above Alexander Rossi's head, in bright green numbers, the LED display panel mounted on his Honda's roll hoop is counting the seconds of his pit stop on the 137th lap. This pit stop, to his left, a member of his crew is inserting the hose into his fuel tank. Nothing comes out, A7, 8, 9A. In the cockpit, Rossi is waving his hands in frustration. Can't happen, Rossi will say later. The fueler tosses a helpless look over his shoulder. The error here is mid A13, 14, 15A. In the car, Rossi is pounding on the steering wheel with his right fist. To his left, Rossi is shaking his head as his tank fills. A19, 20, 21A. Finally it is over. The fueler pulls the, Rossi catches a break. On pit row, where cars have been skidding and spinning out all day, Yoel Power running into one of his crew members, Oa Marcus Ericsson spins out on lap 138. For Ericsson, two things happen. Connor Daly, whose car has been fantastic all day, passes Rossi for fifth. And now Oriol Servia, uncompetitive Oriol Servia, is in the way. Rossi is 6th in the race, but 7th in line, with Oriol Servia, who is a lap down you eriting with the leaders, behind 5th place Sebastian Bourdais. Rossi mounts, on the radio, Rossi is screaming does he not know he's a lap down? Two laps later, Rossi dekes left and passes Servia on the right, taking one hand off the wheel to shake his fist as he roars past Servia at close to 230 mph. Two laps later, soon he will be in third, then second, setting the stage for an epic duel down the stretch with Page Nod. Ultimately, one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen in a race car, he says of Servia's tactics. He's a lap down, Rossi can still win, though, and probably will. Unless he catches, he catches a bad break. With 22 laps to go, Page Nod doesn't have enough fuel to finish this race. Not if he wants to, Page Nod has been playing a dangerous fuel game, charging from the pole into dominant position, running from the front you are pitting every 32 laps but using the speed to lead most of the race, you until his crew calls to him over the radio and tells him to slow down. Rossi, meanwhile, is in great position. He has managed to pass the fuel game, coupled with a great car and driver, will work again this year. Unless a Unless Graham Rahal goes low to pass Bourdais on lap 178, and Bourdais won't let it happen. Bourdais DIPs, now 183, 184, 185, 186. When the race goes green for the final 14 laps, Page Nod has enough fuel to make it at full speed. And his Chevrolet, it was pretty inevitable, Rossi says of his second place finish sitting at the podium in the IMS media room. Rossi rises and heads for the elevator. He shares the ride, speed, Rossi says. He had more speed, the elevator doors open, and Rossi heads outside to a waiting golf cart. He is riding shot, as the golf cart starts to pull away, a fan in a blue tank top and ball cap, bearing the image of the American flag runs to catch him. Rossi doesn't, Rossi is still angry, 
but he is trying to smile. He almost pulls, find star columnist Greg Doyle on Twitter at or at a. This article originally appeared on Indianapolis Star. Related slideshow Best of the Indianapolis 500 provided by Iman. Raindrop trip, drop top, top smoking, no cooking, no hot bar. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that.